it's always an interesting start. There's so much to learn, not just schematically, but where we want them to go on the practice field and what drill names are and all those things. So yes, it's a good start, but, the, but there's a lot of things to fix and correct and, and get better at for sure. What, what are some of those things that need to be fixed? I'm sorry? Be, what are some of the things that need to, need to be fixed to be correct? Well, you know, that's a good question. What I just told the quarterbacks after practice, our, the first thing that we have to do to get better is, is take care of the football. We're, we're turning it over too much in the passing game, yeah. and we have to get more completions. And, and, and that's got to be our first uh, priority, trying to move forward in the passing game. Does it make it more difficult on these guys trying to – limit those mistakes and get those completions when they're moving at a quicker tempo than they've ever moved before? You know, I, yeah, probably. They're probably a little bit more fatigued, but that's not a bad thing. You know, obviously that makes them uh, have to concentrate more on what's going on, and that's a challenge. But uh, but I think that uh, will make them mentally tougher down the line. Is it is it unwieldy trying to rotate five quarterbacks in, or how you guys are trying to manage this right now? Well, it, it's not the easiest thing that I've ever done, but I think it's the thing we have to do to to understand who we have on the team. You know, all of us have been here through an off season conditioning workout, but this is the first two days we've actually physically seen them throw the football, and so. Uh, obviously, there's no timetable on making this decision. We want to do it as quickly as we can, but but you have to have some information to make those decisions. How yeah. have they absorbed what you've thrown at them through two days so far? You know, good and bad. I think we have to do a better job of going from the meeting room with information and applying it on the field quicker. But but there is a ton of information, just like we were talking about yeah. a second ago. They're having to learn a lot, and it's not just plays. It's it's um, you know just where they go on the practice field based on how we set it up. Coach Muschamp has talked about narrowing it down to three quarterbacks. What, uh, now the two practices, any sort of timetable you want to have set for, to try to get down to three? Or is it... No, we, we haven't set a timetable yet. We're trying to do it obviously as quickly as we possibly can because every rep is a valuable rep, but we yeah. want to do it with as much information uh, to make a, a logical decision as best we can. In, in a perfect world, you get an inst you get your installation done in the spring. You maybe narrow it down in the spring, and then in the fall, it's it's, it's a competition for the starting job. Or is, would would you would you want more than that out of spring if you can? Oh yeah, absolutely. I think it's always a competition. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was reading where one coach was saying that even the meeting room is a competition, and and I agree with that. The guys that are locked in, focused, and a, and approach the meeting room is the right kind of guy. And so everything we do is a competition. But yeah, we want to get as much as we can installed through spring, figure out who we're going to be based on the, the talent that we have on the football team. Uh, and then obviously you have to start preparing to win football games in the fall. And that's that's the difference. Right now, we, start, we think players, not players. So who can we uh, bring along to help us?